Hello, my friends. Welcome to my assembly line. A few people have asked me about my fancy screwdriver, so that's what I'm gonna show you today. I'm screwing a lot of little screws, and to do that fast and consistently, I'm using this assembly line screwdriver here. Let me show you its features. First, you're hanging it up on this spring here, so it's easier to handle. And also, it's connected to a power supply. So, it doesn't have a battery, but needs permanent connection to the grid. Then there are two big buttons to get the thing going. The biggest one here to drive forward, drive a screw in, and then the smaller one here to drive a screw out. Over here you can configure the speed, the LEDs show the status. I've set it to 150 RPM which is the slowest. I would go even slower but yeah this is the slowest setting on the slowest driver I've found. But yeah it's okay. Also it has a soft start. Very nice. The killer feature however on this driver is the torque limiter. By turning this sleeve down here you can configure the torque limit and when the limit is reached it just shuts off. See on the lowest setting I can just grab it and cluck. It shuts off. Cluck. The motor in there is very powerful though. If you go reverse there's no torque limit. So if you're pulling screws out, it will go hard on them. But if you're screwing them in, it will only go as far as you've set the limit. This thing is so awesome. If it would break today, I'd order another one and then cry until it arrives. See, it even has a serial number. This thing is primarily used in Chinese factories. So if you want to get your own, head over to Alibaba and search for sd dash DA-1000L. The L is important, otherwise you don't get the low torque version. The connection shaft seems to be somewhat of a standard, so I have a lot of different tips for it. I'm just using the smallest Phillips usually. It's not magnetic per default, but I'll slide this hold magnet over the shaft. And then all my metal screws stay right on there, so I can just stick them on and then use the other hand to to hold whatever I need to screw into. Makes it very nice and easy to deal with these little screws. If any questions you have in the comments below you post. See you later.